Uh, Hi, everyone. I'm Linda Oliver, your district director. Daniel Garces, our finance manager, will walk you through using our Concur solutions for submitting your expenses for reimbursement. Daniel? Hello, everyone. Thank you, Linda. It's a pleasure to get an opportunity to share with everyone a little bit about using our Concur system. Just to do a quick overview of what we'll be covering with this specific section or segment will be how to enable and or request access to Concur. We'll also log into the Concur system, show you how you would log in for the first time, and then establishing your profile as well as email verification. There will be a subsequent segment that will cover how to actually create an expense submission. So we'll cover that later. So to go ahead and begin, we're going to go ahead and start by highlighting that the first thing you'll want to do to be able to log into the Concur system is request access. And to do so, what you'll want to do is send an email to myself. The email address you want to use is d55 thin man at gmail.com. Again, that's D55 as in District 55, thin for financial, man for manager at gmail.com. And the information you'll want to send over in your email is the following. Your first name must be your legal name. Middle name, this is only required for travel uh, if on the traveler's ID. Your last name, your Toastmasters membership ID, and your preferred email address. So again, just including your email, first name, middle if it's on your traveler's ID, last name, Toastmasters membership ID, as well as your preferred email address. And just send a quick note saying you would like to request access to the Concur system. Any member of Toastmasters can request access. So it's not limited to club officers or district officers. Any Toastmaster can request access. I'm going to go ahead and pause there and see, Linda, any questions or anything you would add to this first step? Yes, Daniel. Number one is the preferred email. I'm thinking that Toastmasters International has your ID number and they have your email address as well. I would suggest using the one that Toastmasters has as your email. That's a great point. Thank you, Linda. With that, I'll go ahead and move into the next step, which is the logging into the Concur system. Now, one thing I will mention also is for anybody who requests access, Toastmasters International enables access once a week, and that usually happens on Wednesdays. Uh, access enablement takes about a day or two, so if you send your email to me, um, just be aware that depending on the time of the week, it might be a uh, about a week or so before you actually are enabled for access. Make sure you, you wait till that subsequent week to log in. And the initial login is pretty straightforward. What we're going to do is you're going to use your membership ID, which is right here. You want to make sure you use all eight characters. So if your membership ID is preceded by zeros, make sure all eight numbers are reflected. You may have to add some zeros at the beginning of your membership ID at toastmasters.org. And that will be your login that you use for the Concur system. The initial password when you first log in is going to be welcome. And we're going to go ahead and run through that example. So I'm going to go ahead and tab over to the Concur login screen. And before I jump into the login portion, just real quickly, to get here, you can go to www.concursolutions.com. 
Again, that's www.concursolutions.com. You can also just go to concur.com, and from that page, you'll notice there's a login button at the top, and that'll bring you to the specific page. All right. We're going to go ahead and, and log in. So as you can see, here's my login ID, my membership number. I've got those eight characters in my login ID. So again, you'll want to make sure you proceed your, your login ID with zeros if for some reason uh, you don't have uh, your membership ID starting with a character. And that's going to be at toastmasters.org. Again, the initial login you're going to use the first time is welcome, all lowercase. Now I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now, because I've logged in before, I'm not going to be prompted to change my password. However, if this is your first time logging in, you'll click on sign in. You'll be prompted to change your password, or you can come up here to profile to change your password. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my spotlight once again. You guys can see where that's at. So the first step you'll want to do once you log in is go ahead and set up your own password for your Concur account. I'm going to go ahead and click on that drop down. You want to click on profile settings. This is also where you would log off from. So once you're done completing your tasks or submitting your request, you can log off on that drop down at the very top. Now, a couple key things under the profile settings. Again, first thing you'll want to do is you want to come in here. You'll want to set up and enter all your personal information. And you can either use this left hand navigation to access that content, uh, or you'll also notice that it's um, listed here in the center of screen. So here's your personal information e-receipt act activation. Here's where you also come in to change your password. Uh, another really important piece is you'll want to also uh, enter your bank information. So we're going to go ahead and go through some of these pages. But before I jump into that, let me pause real quickly and see, Linda, anything you'd like to add regarding this view thus far? No, it looks great. Great job. Awesome. All right, fantastic. Well, let's go ahead and Move along. We're going to go ahead and first click on personal information. You'll notice here it's a, quite a lengthy web page. As you can see, you can scroll down on the page and there's quite a bit of content. You'll want to basically start at the top and make sure you, you enter all this relevant information. Uh, your employee ID is actually your Toastmasters International membership number. So that will be reflected there. And I'm going to scroll down a bit just to go through the different areas. You'll want to make sure that as you fill these out, that you click on the Save button so you don't lose the work as you're filling them out. It would be a shame for you to get through the entire screen and inadvertently click the Back button <laughs> and lose all that data. So make sure you click Save as you enter the, the information, your personal information. Now, a really important piece here is the email address and validating and verifying your email address. I'm going to go ahead and just for, for purposes of, of this example, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make believe I'm adding an email address. And real quickly, before I add this, the reason this is important is because it's a way for you to actually associate your email address with your account and will enable you to upload receipt images. So again, a really nice thing about the Concur system is you now don't have to track all this paperwork and get it submitted manually. You can take a photo and upload it using the Concur system. And so tying your account to your email address and verifying that email address is important so that these receipts come through. Uh, again, that'll be covered a little bit more in part two. How you, how you go through that process. Uh, but for now, real quickly, uh, you'll notice there's actually add an email address right here. So you probably won't have any email addresses associated with the account originally. 
I'm going to go ahead and click on add email address. You'll notice that there's an enter email address. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my email address. Now, once you've typed in your email address, you'll then want to come over here and just click OK. So I'm going to click OK. Now, you'll notice the email address is reflected there. I've got three email addresses associated with this account. And you'll notice it says it's not verified. So you can see right here, not verified. This is a very important step. You'll want to click on verify. Once again, you'll always want to make sure you, you go in and verify your account. And similar to other applications where they send you an email and you, you verify by clicking on a link or copying over an ID, you'll notice I clicked verify. It mentions an email has been sent to that email address. And it's asking me to make sure I copy the verification code from the email address and paste it into the enter code box. So again, it tells you specifically what to do. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And what you'll then wanna do is go over to your email box. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over and show you what that email looks like. Uh, I can tell you personally, it took a little while for these emails to come through. They weren't instantaneous. So be prepared to wait, you know, possibly 30 minutes for the email to come through. It may have been because of the time of the day that I requested it, but just keep that in mind. If you don't get an email instantaneously, um, just come back and check in a little while. Unlike a lot of the verifications that other systems do, um, you'll notice that this doesn't have like a, a 10 minute time frame that you have to enter that code. So you do have some flexibility there. So here's, here's the email. You'll notice there's a verification code right there towards the bottom of that first paragraph. What, what I want to do here is I like to actually just highlight the text. It makes it a lot easier for me to copy over. You can then right click or use the control C, copy that code then come back over to your Concur system. And again, using the right click where it says enter code, you can use a paste or control V and that paste that code right in there. Once you've done that, you can click OK and that completes the verification process. You'll notice that there's actually an email address that I've already verified. So uh, as soon as you click OK, you should get something that looks like this. It should tell you that email address is now verified. Let me go ahead and stop right there and see if there's anything, Linda, or any, any specific questions you, you think I didn't cover or any additional comments you'd like to make. Daniel, it's you're doing a good job. I'm, I'm following it and I think that it's very clear the directions are very clear and I want to thank you for taking the time to go through each step. Certainly. One last thing I'll, I'll mention before we finish this first phase is from this screen, um, you'll notice if you want to delete an email address, you can use the little icon on the far right here and it will always ask you to make sure verify that that is a step you want to take. Um, so again, that's a, a quick overview. And again, this is going to be a really important piece to make sure that when you upload images using your phone, by uh, emailing them to uh, the Concur system, that it associates it with your account. I'm going to just very quickly scroll down through the, the rest of this uh, dialogue. You'll notice that there's you know, additional information that's required if you've got hotel preferences, car preferences. Again, if you're somebody um, who is going to be do tr doing traveling on behalf of Toastmasters and, and you're eligible for reimbursement, um, you'll want to make sure you fill out all this information. With that, I'm going to go ahead and scroll back up to the top. Hopefully nobody's getting too dizzy. <laughs> and you'll notice on the left-hand side, we're now going to go ahead and jump over to the bank information. Again, it's going to be under the expense settings section, and this will be another important piece that you'll want to make sure you set up. 
depending on your browser, you may get prompted uh, confirming that you want to move over to a different page. Now, real quickly, the importance of setting up the bank information is, is that it will ensure that when you request reimbursement, you get your funds as quickly as possible. I know a few people have asked, you know, what if I don't want to use a bank account? Uh, that is fine. You can get a, a check mailed to you. But again, if you want to simplify the process and expedite um, you getting your funds and, and you don't have an issue with sharing the information and putting it in the concur system, uh, this, this would probably the, be the preferred and easiest method. Um, in addition to entering all of your bank account information, uh, if you scroll down, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down a bit. You'll notice it gives you similar to other websites where maybe you've entered bank information, exactly on your check, which one your routing number is, your bank account number. And again, this will be the information that you wanna make sure you enter uh, on the top of the page. So it helps guide you through that process. Now, once you submit and or save and agree um, the content that you've submitted, there's going to be a confirmation process that's required and takes a few days. Uh, you can actually see here on my personal history that when I added my account, it was added on September 30th and it was confirmed on October 2nd. Again, they wanna just confirm and verify with your bank that you are who you are and confirm that the, the account information uh, coincides with the information that you entered in the system. I'm gonna go ahead and stop there and see, Linda, anything you would wanna add regarding the bank information? No, except that it does work. I've been reimbursed about four times now, three or four times. Excellent. Well, that, that's great. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, scroll back up to the top. Excuse me. Just one more, one moment. Uh, could you mention, can you mention what happens if you don't use the bank? Can somebody not use the bank and get reimbursed? You can, yes. And if, if you uh, wish to not use your bank, what they will do is they can eat, they can mail you a check um, to your listed address, your personal address. And we'll, we'll actually cover that a little bit more when we submit expenses, uh, but that is an option. That takes longer. Not do. It does take longer. Yes. That is correct. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just jump back over to our agenda and just make sure that we've covered, I think that covers this first phase, which is again, real quickly, uh, getting your, um, your account or, or your ID enabled for the Concur system. Again, here's just a real quick overview of the information that you want to provide an, an email over to, again, that d55finman at gmail.com. And again, that does take about a week or so. Toastmasters International does enable accounts uh, once a week, typically on Wednesdays. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and pause there and see, Linda, if, if you don't have anything else, maybe that uh, may conclude this first segment. Yes. Uh, thank you, Daniel. This was very informative for everyone that is just starting on Concur. We do plan on having other sessions so you can understand how to submit your reports, your expense reports. But this is the very, this is the initial overview that everyone needs to have. And Daniel, we want to thank you so much for doing such an excellent job. Let's give thank him you. a hand. <laughs> Applaud. <laughs> I'm going to stop the recording.